Hey everybody. In this video, we will explore how to use Docklin with Langchain to build a rack pipeline for complex PDF documents. So it helps interaction with tables and images within your PDFs. So this application addresses challenges in extracting content from your complex PDFs. All right, so I've already covered Docklin in details in my previous video. So you can find out more details here. Okay, so just to recap, Docklin helps or passes document and exports them to your desired format with ease and speed. So there are several features with Docklin that also helps with popular document formats, such as PDFs and several features and other installation process that you can find here, right? And so Langchain, on the other hand, is an open source framework that simplifies the development of applications leveraging LLM. So it offers a standard interface for change, numerous tools, integrations, and end-to-end -end solutions for common applications. All right, so we're going to be looking at some use cases using the Google Colab. We'll take you through briefly what the rag pipeline is All right so here we have a pdf and we extract the content from the pdf so the next thing is to we split that into chunks so for each chunk we create an embeddings it is nothing but the representation of the text in numbers so for each of the chunks we convert that to numbers All right and for that we create a uh, build a semantic index which helps to organize and interpret the uh, and also retrieves information based on its meaning rather than just just keyword matching and it is stored in the knowledge base all right so that is the vector store all right so in this case we are using the melvis as the vector base right to store that so that when the user asks a question, it creates the creates the embeddings, converting that into numbers, and try to create an understanding of that. So it's the, that's a semantic search, right? Which is an approach for information retrieval and it focuses on understanding the context and the intent behind a user's search query to to deliver a more relevant results, right? So it gets into the knowledge base and also try to get similarities here to get the answers. So it is it ranks the results and also passes that to the LLMs and gives the answers to the user, right? So this is really simple. So let's get back to the code, right? All right, so I'm going to head over to Google Colab and we are going to be using a simple PDF that has tables to test that out and also extract information from the tables. All right, so first thing in my Google Colab, you go to runtime and you can choose any of your hardware accelerator. I'm using T4 GPU, I'm gonna save, and we wanna install these packages dot clean dot clean call python dot emv to create our environment and we're going to be needing like from langchain text splitter to split our text and we're going to be needing hanging face to pull our models from hanging face and the chain mail verse so it's uh, an open source database that stores indexes and manages embedding vectors so we're going to be using that as our vector store so we run this and let's give it some time. All right, so this block of code, simply what it's doing it is, it's a custom loader for processing the PDF files and we call that the .clean PDF loader, which is the subclass for the base loader. And it, so the loader takes the file path as an input and so if the input is a single string it converts that to a list 
for consistency. So it creates an instance of the document converter, which is used to handle the PDF conversion. And the lazy load as a method, a method processes each file in the list of the file path. And so for each file, it uses the document converter to convert the file into a DL doc object and it extracts the text from the document in a markdown format. So as you can see, export to markdown and it yields uh, the object containing the extracted text, right, of the page content. All right, so simply run that. We run this. All right, next thing is to create a path. So we have a variable called the file path. And now we are using this URL. So it can be your local, you can create a, your own path where you have the PDF files. So I'm using the link here that I have here. So I've pasted it here. I'm going to run this. And the next thing is to, so we are using long chain text splitter. We're going to split. So using the recursive character text splitter to split the, the text. So we are using the docklane PDF loader and we are passing the file path and we create a variable called text splitter and we are splitting that into chunks. So we have the chunk size to be 1000 and we have the chunk overlap to be 200, right? So I'm going to run this. All right, so we have the docs, we load the PDF files and we use the split. So we split the document, right? So I'm going to pass this, run this. So we see all these warnings, so we ignore that. All right, so the next thing is to import the Hanky Face Hub from, so we want to link that to Hanky Face. So we run this and so it's, this accent of the token. So what we want to do is to order to get that, you go to hanging face. Um, so I'm going to type this hanging face. I'm going to have this. All right. So you go to your settings and you go to access token. So you can create your token here. In this case, I already have it, so I'm going to paste it. I'm going to paste that. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it and let's say login. All right, so what we want to do now is so we want to create a embedding, so we are doing that from Langchain Hugging Face dot. Embeddings, so we are using the hugging face embeddings. So here we are using this to create an embedding, this model. So we have here hugging face, as you can see here, you can just copy that and you paste it. You paste it here. All right, so create a variable and we use the hugging face embeddings to run that. So I'm going to run this, create embeddings. All right now we have a create a temporary file temp file and we are using the myrails demo as the database to store the embeddings all right so it's pretty easy so this one is the vector store and we are using melvis to do that so we pass our split the embeddings and we add a connection so these are just additional variables that you can add. So I'm going to parameters that you can add. So we're going to run this. All right. So we want to use the endpoint. So we set the environment and we're using the hanging face API key. So we are, so this is helping us grab the model. All right. So we are using the Mistral 7B extract model. So we can use any model that you prefer. So in order to do this, to create our LLMs, we have the hanging face endpoint and we pass the repo ID for the model and we pass the API token. So what we're gonna do now is you go here, 
and you paste your HF API key and you paste the API, the token here, right? It's very easy to do that. Okay. So I'm going to close up this. Right. And I'm going to run this. Right. Successfully run. And so these variables help us to pass the prompt. So we pass the prompt. So what we are doing now is we are using the LC document, the output parser, the prompt template, the runnable pass through. To, so we are creating a chain using this and we are using the retriever. So we pass the vector as the retrieval and we create a prompt and we put in a, a context. So we say giving the context information. All right, so we are not proud knowledge so we can put in anything. So we pass the question. And so we create a chain for that, put a context in there and the question, all right? So what we're gonna do now is, we, so in the question we have the runnable pass through, all right? And that basically helps us to write and help us to pass data from previous steps. And it's unchained for use as the input to the later steps. So we pipe them with the prompt, with the LLMs, and with the output parser. All right, so when we run this, all right, so let's ask the question. So display the table in example four automobile land speed record and let's run this all right so we've extracted a table so let's let's look at that all right so what i'm going to do is going to So this is the table that I'm trying to extract. So let me copy this and let's paste it in. All right, so as you can see, so let's try to compare that. All right, so you can see it's actually correct. So you can see the numbers and you can see the driver column, the car column, spirit, you can see the engine, and you can see the date. That's awesome. All right, so let's, let's, let's go back and let's try this question. Comment this out. So let's ask the question from the table and let me say from example what is the speed for driver for, for this name so let me run this and let's see all right so let's verify that richard oh awesome richard noble and it has 633 points, oops. All right, 633.468, 633.468 All right, this is correct, All right? Okay, so this was just an example, so you can try it out. At least we can see it's able to extract tables and also chat with tables. This was all that I want to share with you. Just try it out and let me know how you feel about this. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.